Okay guys, here it is. It's a little bit different of an unboxing, but same effect. So here's the box, the Nikon One. This is the new camera I'm going to be doing all my filming on from now on. Um, okay, let's get going. So there it is. Zoom in a little bit. Okay. So this is what was in the box. I've already unboxed it because I got a bit too eager and I wanted to have a bit of a go. Um, so I can also give you a little bit of a review on the product. So first of all, you get your usual, this is really actually quite nice by Nikon. They're, it's like a little quick starter guide um, and it gives you just a real quick overview of what, um, how to set up the camera and how to use it. So I really like this. I didn't need it, but um, it's a really nice quick starter guide for their camera. So I like that. Then the usual manual. Not important, don't need it, unless you want to know all the massive like spec stuff and all the little details, but I don't really care too much about that. So that's that one, the user manual, done. You get your reference manual as well and it quite possibly also is just a little uh, installation disc I don't think so I think you just plug it in and it will install it straight off the internet that uh, warranty of course you need those um, more warranty 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 that's them uh, the usual different language pack this is in Japanese because um, Nikon's Japanese brand. Funny, it's a Japanese brand, but the camera is actually made in China. <laughs> Little funny note there. Don't need that. And it, yeah, same bit of cardboard. Get your cable, uh, micro USB cable. Um, got hundreds of them, don't need that. Charger. So it actually only came with uh, one battery. I kind of wish it had come with two. This is just the Australian Adapt. But the good thing about it, I believe this actually is an adapter that can be, um, it can be changed. So if I want to, I can change it with a uh, different kind. I wish it had come with uh, a second battery. That's my main wish. Now, the camera that I got actually is a two lens edition one, you can buy it with the one lens or you can buy it with the two Nikon lenses. So this is a 10 mil wide lens. So this is going to be what I'll use most of the time. Um, and just a simple little clip. Now the thing that I loved most about this camera is um, how interchangeable and how easy changing the lenses are. It's unbelievably easy. I'll show you in a second. Um, so that's the 10 mil lens and then it also came with a 10 to 30 mil lens. So this is just a three times zoom. Um, again, really nice lens. I had a go of this one today um, and I've taken a few photos and I'll show you those at the end of the video just so you can see the picture quality. Um, now the photos that I took were in quite low light, it was quite evening, so you'll see how well it picks up the lights and carries it into the camera. And here's the camera itself. So I've already attached the neck strap, comes free with it. Um, the Nikon 1 J1. Now you can get the J2, but it was uh, think about an extra two hundred dollars for the J2, and it didn't actually add any major features. This one has the same specs as the J2, um, but the J2 came with a slight larger body. That's all really. So it allowed more light sensors into the camera. Um, show you that. So that's the attachment. We'll show you straight off how easy it is to attach one of the lenses. Just take off the case. So what you do, line that white dot up with the silver tab, in, click, done. Got the lens on there, so simple. Um, so this one, yeah, just the 10mm wide lens. 
Uh, I'll leave that, uh, and to take them off, just a simple press the button, twist. Such a simple, simple camera to use. Um, show you the back. Uh, actually, we'll show you the side first. So it's got a mini HDMI, and that's the uh, USB port. Um, the only thing I wish this camera had, which the V, the Nikon One V2, it's a different camera. It also it has a mic input. That is what I wish this camera had most. I wish it had a mic input, but it doesn't, unfortunately. Um, so on top, record, so to take your videos, camera, just a normal stat, and on and off. Nice little feature up here is a little, show you, pop-up camera, uh, pop-up flash, sorry, my bad. Um, really cool, pop-up flash is great. And it works really well, the flash is exceptional high power, you can't adjust the flash, but I don't really think that's too important. You can, uh, you can buy just external flashes. Okay, um, show you the back, so on the back. Um, what I like about this is this little dial. It allows you to flip through your settings really quick. Um, actually, I'll turn it on just to show you um, flick into this. So it's got super fast reaction time. Super, super fast reaction time. Um, go to menu, so flick through your menus. Now you've got uh, your, these are all your camera menus. So your exposure and um, autofocus, um, color specs, and it's just got so many settings. So it's like a, SLR shoved into a little compact camera. It's really, really nice. Um, but we'll go back out of there. Um, you also got your display settings to show you everything you need, your battery life. I haven't actually, I don't quite know the battery life on this yet. I'll put that into another video later on. Um, but definitely, I need to figure out how, how much we've got on there. Um, so up here we've got a zoom and a image adjustment if we actually, let's just bring one up. So it goes into a landscape mode, you can select through them. Um, a zoom mode, as you can see, just pressing. So this isn't just a radial menu, uh, radial slider, it's also a press. So you've got your autofocus lens, you've got your zooms, flash when you're in camera mode, um, and delete, your normal delete modes, but don't need to delete the photos. So what else have we got? You've got your normal screw on the bottom to attach it to um, your tripods, and in here, your battery case, really nice SD slot in this one, it takes a normal standard SD. Um, so again, I quite like that. The only problem with this is this little thing, it's very, very flimsy. It doesn't feel stable at all, and it feels just like a bit of paper. Not a fan of that, even slightly. But, when we're talking about the camera in a whole, this camera takes beautiful pictures. The sound quality on the video is nice. Um, I will be doing a video very soon with me, actually, on this. I do both a speaking vlog and also a music video, just so we can check the uh, audio levels on that. Um, but yes, it is a brilliant camera. The lenses are really nice to use. Strap seems quite stable. Uh, it's got a nice rubber grip. So yeah, I'm 100% happy with this camera out of Let's go three. Out of three, this camera is a, for what it is, and for the technology that it is, is in it, I give this camera a three out of three. When you buy this camera, what I can recommend buying is the Carter camera case. It's at the base of the camera case. You have a nice spot to put uh, your, we'll just take the 10 mil lens. So this is the 10 mil lens. 
10mm lens sits in there really comfortably. I even think probably the 30mm lens, look at that, even the 30mm lens fits in there. So that's great, I love that. Um, 30mm, a 10mm lens in there, nice large pocket here, but not too large. I, you could fit a DSR, uh, an SLR in here, not sure how well it would fit, it would be pretty snug. But for a camera like this, this you could not ask for a better fit. I'll shove the lens on just so I can show you. So look at this. Camera, strap in the bottom, strap in the bottom. And look, just sits in there so perfectly. Nice and snug. You couldn't ask for a better fit. It won't move around, it won't move. So it's just such a great fit. I love it. Nice little battery slot. So if you've got a battery, extra spare, you can stick it in there. But look, even take it off if you don't have it. Great. Um, so yeah, you couldn't ask for a better case. You can get these at any camera house store. Uh, you can get it at Ted's camera house. Um, yeah, and it's even got, I believe, yeah, it's got a small uh, side pocket here. I'm even going to, look, I'm going to shove the lens caps right down in there. Look at that. So you keep your lens caps even with you. Again, the Carter. Um, I could give you the model number, but that's not important. Just the Carter. Look it up. You'll find it. A brilliant, brilliant carry case. You can clip it onto your belt. You've got the neck strap on it. I like the neck strap. That's what I got this mainly for. Um, brilliant camera case. Okay. Thanks, guys.